For a long time, art has been used as a medium to express one's emotions, and quite possibly, the expressions can be made through artistic design. We've seen the evolution in design by Frank Lloyd Wright prior to the tragic homicide incident in Talishan Estate back in 1914 and how it changes later on. The emotional process had transformed his organic architecture philosophy to be incorporated with patterned concrete blocks inspired by the Mayan revival architecture. The syncretism in these architectures showcases the impact of the creator's emotion towards his artwork as it symbolizes his long for tranquility since the tragedy. Donald Arthur Norman in his book Emotional Design elaborates the importance of emotional design, the instinctive level, the behavioral level, and emotional reflection. Frank Lloyd Wright himself also said, Architecture is a great feeling of human beings in the world they build themselves. See, the way art works is it captures the emotions of ones who is making it, and while it can influence the audiences, it might be digested by the viewers in different manners. However, in films, the embodiment of personality emotional structure can be more apprehended with the use of soundtracks, the facial expressions used by the characters, well-written scripts, and also the personality of set designs. Wes Anderson is now the new generation of filmmakers renowned with eye-fisting visual designs in his mind, with attention to details in the aesthetics of color palette in his pictures. In Moonrise Kingdom, the army green along with complementary of rose pink and blue effectively magnify the optimism that resonates the children leading characters in their fairy tale journey. The apartment set in Carnage directed by Roman Polanski back in 2011 was shot in Paris due to Polanski's fugitive status, but features conventional yet authentic American traditional apartment with opening and closing scenes ostensibly filmed in Brooklyn Bridge Park. If you look closely to the interior design of the apartment, it kinda gave away the personality of each older members of the Longstreet family that is uptight in Penelope, well-mannered in Michael with their steady yet pleasantly boring marriage. This setting allows the characters to reveal their true human nature, that is, they are capable of hating, being selfish, though everything is concealed under a middle-class veneer of people who want to be respectable. Why does everything have to be so exhausting? You think too much. Women think too much. There's an original response. I don't know what that means to think too much. You know, and I, I, I don't know how you can just go on living with absolutely no moral sense of the world. You can't just talk about emotions and personalities, embodiments from movies, interior design without mentioning Mary Heron's American Psycho, for which also highlighting the character of Patrick Bateman through the interior design of his New York apartment. The minimalist black and white design of Bateman's living room is brimming with iconic furniture. Sleek leather, Maeve Van der Rohe, Bartholomew chairs, Charles Rennie Macintosh's Hill House chair, and Robert Longo drawings of contorted figures, all pointing to his chilling actions that is hidden beneath his mask as an investment banker. Hey, Paul! Art in any shape or form, even as tiny details as the interior design in films, can trigger motion to the environment that the subject lives. The personality emotional structure in interior design that is widely used in films also yields adverse effects in emotional psychology to the human beings. And I think that these set designs are equally important as having good scripts, incredible castes, or even good music as film soundtracks, if not more.